In this guide, I'll show you how to set up any controller on Steam. So the first thing you want to do is go to Steam in the top left corner, and then you want to select Settings. From here, you want to have a look on the left sidebar and select Controller, and then you should see your controller name if you've connected it to your PC via USB-C cable, or if you've connected it via Bluetooth. Now you'll see just beneath this, there is a Game Rumble option, and this is essentially whether or not you want vibration on your controller while you're playing. I'm going to turn it off. Now you want to scroll down on this page until you get to external gamepad settings. And here you'll see compatibility for all of the different controllers. So we have Xbox, you want to turn that on if you're using Xbox. We have PlayStation controller support, which you can enable here. We also have a Switch Pro controller, generic controller. And once you've turned this on, what you want to do is scroll back up. And then you want to go to calibration and advanced settings and select open. So this is where you can calibrate your controller if you're experiencing any stick drift using these dead zone settings. So what you want to do is adjust this slider. If you're experiencing really bad stick drift, I recommend you increase it above 10,000. And if you don't have a lot of stick drift and you want a more reactive controller, you can always lower this beneath the default level. Now, if you want to go back to default, just have a look at the bottom and you can do that. And you can also adjust the right joystick as well. So once you've done this, you can simply exit out of this section, and then you can close this out, and then you want to go to your game. So now what you want to do is right click on the game that you're going to play, and you want to select properties. Then on the left sidebar, you want to select controller. Now using the default settings for your controller most times is going to be perfectly fine, but if you're ever experiencing issues playing the game or the button mapping's just not good, what you want to do is select this drop down arrow and go to enable Steam input. Then what you want to do is select controller configurator. And this is where you'll be able to edit the layout for your controller so you can adjust the settings as you like. In this case though, I'm just going to go back to use default settings and then it's simply just a matter of launching the game. If this guide was helpful, like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.